that's good that's coming on good just a little bit more just a little bit more and the rest I'll, I'll do by polishing but I don't think there's anything on there that's going to be uh, cause me a problem when I put the strings on Ideally, if you had two blocks of wood, one with that, like I say, I've got 60s on, then you want one with it, an even finer one on. Or if you've got the room, uh, have a range of them. But, uh, you know, use what you've got and see what, see what works for you. Some people might think it's not necessary to do this, but if you have actually got a fret that's a bit too high, it's going to interfere, isn't it, once you put your strings on, so you want it. You want them all as level as you possibly can. So I suppose the other way is what a lot of people do without knowing is it they, they have the string set that high anyway it, it, you could put a brick underneath on the fretboard and you still clear the strings on some of them and that's actually on some of mine as well it's not everybody you want your strings as close as you can <coughs> to your fret wire So there's less pressure when you're playing playing it on your fingers. But you don't want it that close that when you press on the third or second, third, fourth, fifth fret, it buzzes somewhere else on the sixth. So the, if it buzzes on the eighth, obviously you've got an eighth fret fret wire that's too high. Do most of the work first, we're sorted. Right, that's good enough for me. So what you want now really is a nice little set of needle, needle files. Find the right one for the job. See this this particular one is is smooth on the sides. So if you're going to do a little bit of work here, you're not going to scratch your uh, your woodwork. Um, these are already smooth actually, so I've already done this on the sides and that. But you check for roughness once you've. Uh, Done the done your work, you check that it's nice and rough, there's no sharp edges. Just gently dress dress them. You have a choice of files, these aren't specifically Luther's files, they're just uh they're just files. Okay, you have some of them that have got a slight bevel on there, so you can use that beveled side. To bring a little bit of roundness back onto your frets. If you're doing this, I'd re-tape it by the way, and just to make sure you keep your board as clean as you can. And then you, you just stress up your frets. Okay, you can polish them with a Dremel. Just feel each one individually. If it's a bit coarse to you, it's got to be even coarser to somebody who 
who's hoping to buy it. So, you, you know, make sure you're happy. If you can feel a, a sharp bit there, the person who's interested in buying your guitar, if you're selling it, is going to feel it three or four times more than you are. So, do what you can. Do what you can to get everything as smooth as possible. And that's it, what I'll do now is I'll, I'll, I'll retape these and I'll get some very, very fine four, 500, 600 paper uh, and just polish them a little bit on the top. Just to get the nice shine back. Okay, and this is the neck by the way that I, uh, I salvaged after I made a disastrous joint at the top, <laughs> but it'll uh, come in for something. It's very quickly here's one of the, uh, <coughs> one of the projects that I've been working on. So very simple, just straight through the neck. And because of the depth of the box, there's not that much I can do with it. A nice little box, but it is only little as well, so all I've done. It's just cut out a groove in the neck and when I'm ready I shall uh, fix it to the neck, put the bridge on there, that's the exact position for the bridge, put my strings through here and uh, hopefully it'll work. Thank you.